score. So this is Bayesian information criterion. Now we are back to the cluster. So now we are back to the clustering. So now we are back to clustering. Consider a set of clusters CK at that is at level K. We are having K different clusters. And each cluster CI is modeled as a multivariate Gaussian with mean vector mu i and covariance matrix sigma i. So this is a distribution from the data from where the data is coming and the number of parameters each cluster is having an n dimensional mean vector that is mu i and a covariance matrix and cross n sigma i so the number of parameters for each clusters is n plus 1 over 2 n into n plus 1 and there are k such clusters at level k okay so initially say the k equal to 5 okay and now my problem becomes say at level 1 we have k clusters and say at level 2 we are having k minus 1 clusters so what I am doing is I am calculating the BIC score at this level say CK and I am calculating the BIC score at this level say CK minus 1 and now I am subtracting the two BIC scores okay so this is my BIC score at level K negative 1 over 2 summation of all i r i log of determinant of your covariance matrix this is the number of total number of data points this is the number of clusters and this is the dimensionality of a feature vector okay so this is a BIC score at level k and now we merge this cluster c1 and c2 so we are having the BIC score at level k minus 1 this okay we just added R1 and R2 and now the covariance matrix is representing the covariance of a data points R1 plus R2 okay it is a covariance matrix for a cluster C12 okay so this is the BIC score and now I'm subtracting this score from this score so I will get this okay you can do it on paper and now if this value is greater than 0 then the two clusters can be merged and now we can so likewise we can run, run this procedure again and again and find the best number of clusters we can also find at level k that which are the two most probable clusters that can be merged so we can uh, go either way okay so in the upcoming project in the machine active project channel i will show you how this clustering was used to find the number of speakers and a speed signal without any prior information about the speakers and the segmentation of the signal was itself done using the BIC and there is one more point suppose if you are working on exact problem and you don't know that uh, what is the distribution of your data you don't know where the data is coming from so say suppose it is having some random distribution and now you want to approximate it with the best Gaussian distribution so you can do it via Laplacian approximation and in the lecture of uh, and, and the lecture which, is, which will focus only on the Bayesian information criterion I will show you how to use the Laplacian approximation for approximating your data with the Gaussian distribution so thank you for watching this video and get the MATLAB code for BIC based P signal segmentation and a code for BIC clustering from the video in machine learning at the project channel this will be this video will be posted soon in the channel so thank you for watching I'm Sanjeev from searching.com thank you